Hello, Ali darlings. Hello. This is Shiro and Kuro. So, we promised a couple months ago <laughs> to get you guys a body review of the Long Soul Tau, Fierce Beast Tau Dragon Body. We have both of them here. If you notice, uh, this one over here, he has a green wig now. He had a black wig in the previous video. I actually can't find his black wig right now, so yeah, we're kind of terrible, surprised. terrible, terrible owner. <laughs> but we had a green one on hand, so we're trying to get <laughs> green today. We still haven't picked out names for these guys. Um, and I think part of the reason is we haven't done too much with them yet because we haven't got the fabric that we want yet mm -hmm. to make their outfits. Something that looks like actual silk for dolls. But hopefully isn't because that'd be probably really thick and kind of clunky. And expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so there's all that. That's like the main first step we have to do. Yeah. We have like some ideas of maybe the clothing style and everything. It's kind of like modified looking mm -hmm. Chinese outfits with like you know, almost like a fancy loincloth so you can see their legs and not too much of going up the top either because they have crazy arms, but just those two pieces, but you still have to have the fabric <laughs> for them. Yeah. So once we finally get that, we'll probably then be able to finally move forward with the faces that we want to do. So that's where those are at. We also have been balancing out a number of other uh, dolls we've been working Doll on. Doll we also have a couple other just like dolls that are again kind of up in the air for us we haven't done stuff with. Mm -hmm. And also I guess we've been doing minor stuff for our, uh, our meetup group where we like pull yeah. stuff together each month so that kind of sometimes takes priority because yeah. it's like a monthly theme. So We actually have a meetup group. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Mm -hmm. In the meantime we thought we could go ahead and give you guys the body review so here's both of these guys. And they, they probably pose about the same, but we thought we'd still include them because it's fun to have two. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you can see the difference between the gray skin and the white and the skin. White skin. Mm -hmm. All right, so we rearranged our stage a little bit so we can do some focusing on different parts here. So we're starting with the feet, which I think is Kuro's favorite part of these type of dolls. Yeah, they're really cool. <laughs> she always considers it a travesty when, like, there's a fantasy doll and then people, like, I don't know. I don't know if they order they them as humans the or they just aren't selling them secondhand. I don't know. I think some people get the doll and they want the fantasy parts, but they sell the rest of the doll. Yeah. That's what you sometimes probably see, too. But Look at that, man. That's bigger than my actual palm. Look at that. It's huge. That is huge. It goes from my middle of my fingers to my down to my palm the very end. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. They're nicely anyway, sculpted. giant feet. They got beautiful, beautiful claws. These are actually pretty sharp, too. Mm -hmm. um, he's got, like, little hairs. Mm -hmm. like Molded hairy, hair. Hairy feet. And these are awesome. These little, like, doohickeys. I don't even know what they are. Like, hair falling off there or coming off there? It reminds me of Chinese dragons. Yeah. How they have, like, fur and hair kind of going everywhere. <laughs> The only downside with the pokies is that if you ever want to, well, it pokes you, so be careful about that. <laughs> and if you ever want to sit them so they're just like their legs are sticking out straight, doesn't it work. doesn't work unless you want to. If it, but if it you was have like, to sit them like this. Yeah, that's what we had to get them a little see, seat. Because see, look at the things like actually poke into the ground. Ow, these are hurt. <laughs> anyway, he's very sharp. <laughs> they stand really great though. So yeah, they're they probably do. better almost for standing. Because or they have big feet to stand on. Or if you have them maybe sitting over a shelf edge or something. Yeah. But just you can't really have them sitting flat on the ground very well yeah so that's the stuff the forewarning thing so but they have like a digi grade kind of foot which is really cool I really love the digi grade thing so here's the joint here you can see and it has um, a metal piece inside yeah. and a hook unlike zoom it doesn't go all the way through the foot the foot it just goes through here see I just got a uh, spoiler alert I, I just got a um, Soon crom. Soon crom, and he has an actual joint here where you can actually move this. Mm -hmm. This one you can't really do that very well, as you can see, but it does kind of have a joint here. It like moves it, it a little bit. Really move it doesn't really well. stick in that position. No, I'll have to show you. Bring my soon. We'll do a uh, comparison later. later. Yep. Anyway, here's his actual knee joint. Mm -hmm. It's yep. double jointed. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. You can do the that thing. Mm hmm. Though it'd probably be a little bit tricky because it's very pokey. Yeah, he can't go very far because of these things. The pokies. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it doesn't work that well. But it's really good for the range of motion that he has for this kind of foot. Yeah. So, yeah. Because he's got like serious amounts of stuff on himself. So, whoops. I popped his thing out of joint. Hold on a second. <laughs> there we 
we go. It's so painful to be a doll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and his underwear is being eaten. Okay. So, they have also this the mobility, mobility joint. joint. Does it have any things on the inside? Oh, yeah. It yeah, does. it does. So, you could probably bend his legs up if you wanted to, like, into a, like, your knees up against your chest, sort of. Or at least a little bit. So, see, there's, there's this joint. The little nubblies. It would look good in pants, but I don't think he's ever going to wear pants. His feet are in, they're, actually, what's cool about these feet is you can just easily um, pop them off mm -hmm. because they have this part. It's not, it doesn't go all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, so you could just pop these off and then like put your shorts on or pants on or whatever and then pop them back on. Kuro just had a fun time is, putting her other guy together. Oh my so gosh, yes. Complaining the about problem this. is though is the pants you have to have short pants like pedal pushers or something because he can't wear pants past here. Mm. Yeah, except for me spandex. <laughs> um, I don't think spandex would work either. You have to put little holes through it or something because yep. this, this stuff is yep. pretty heavy duty. Yep. Okay, so that's his mobility joint. So that's if you wanted to bend your your leg up. Yeah, let's put that back together. Okay, so this is his... I don't think you guys want to see what's underneath here, right? I mean, we don't need to show you that. He has, like, little... He has a magnetic... He has a bag bits. of dolly bits. Yeah, which we, we had in the previous box opening. Yeah, we sh didn't we show you guys that? Yeah. And all they do is they attach by magnets that are out of his Yeah. So. so, like, we could show you his magnets if you like. I mean... Yeah, just for a minute. All right. Dull nudity, beware. Sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, my dignity, he says. <laughs> see and it just kind of pops off like <laughs> like that it's still like <laughs> there you go there it is anyway he has a whole bunch of these things in various uh, states of states of being male <laughs> yeah and anyway you just pop it on and like that and it just stays there and this is the one that goes in clothes mainly I want to be careful though because we've had people at other meets they had a long sole and he was wearing he a kimono and yeah he dropped his dick <laughs> it was an infamous dip, dick slip, dick slip. <laughs> <laughs> it like landed on the floor it was hilarious kind of awkward poor yeah, that's creature like worse, especially if you're showing this to your mom oh no hey mom look at my doll oh crap <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's that on the floor? Oh no, it's nothing. It's a tic tac. I think a tic tac. Oh my gosh, funny. So here's his. Um, he's got really nice sculpting. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look down here too, he's got these beautiful veins in his legs because, well, for a muscular man, men have veins like that. Mm -hmm. He even has it in his arms, in his hands, in his hands. Move your out. <laughs> very, very sharp. Uh, pokey. Very pokey. So very he has veins in his hands. He has veins down here on his arms. Yeah. And we'll get to his mobility in, in, his, in his arms and stuff and his hair. So at his waistline, he has a waist joint. Okay, so he can go that way. He can go that way. He can go around and around like a belly dancer. <laughs> can he actually hold the pose? I just showed you, yeah. If he wants to. Yeah. He can hold it. He can hold it. It just looks weird. He can slouch. See? Like awesomeness. Mm -hmm. He can... Uh, it's really heavy. <laughs> he can go backwards. Some... He's also strong. Yeah, he's strong pretty though. tight. So he can go backwards. Uh huh. Does he have he any notches to. on his back? Yes. He does? I believe so. Just move all his hair. <laughs> He can slouch like that. He has a super muscular back. I know, isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous, but like it was the one piece of sculpting I was a bit iffy about when we bought him. Yeah, because it looks like he's going, Ugh! But it still looks really <laughs> nice. And like, I think maybe because they have the blushing they did, it looked like really extreme. It doesn't really bother me how it is mm -hmm. right here. We can like play so. it down too. A little you don't bit, have to but be it's really that. beautiful it like, to really look at. Mm -hmm. He has little veins right here too. You like those? Yeah, that's I do. I love details. all the details on him. He's a really beautiful doll. I love the veins up here. I love this part and his little muscular chairs here. He's little nipples. <laughs> <laughs> here he has beautiful detailing on his arm, same as he had on his um, feet. Feet. 
it's the same kind of dragon detailing. Mm -hmm. Again, he can't wear anything on his arms very well, unless you like make holes or for it or something. Something, yeah. It seems kind of pointless, though, if you're going to do that, because, like... It, why hide it? Yeah. Yeah, so, I I don't know, I just... No. <laughs> so, he does have notches on his little armies. Yeah, See? So he can hold up underarms, he has funky underarms. Well... <laughs> so he can so actually can... hold his poses. So I can show you. down though because of these mm -hmm. his arms are very heavy like so right it's, here it's hard for it to hold it up at certain yeah. angles so he can do that he can do that he can do that maybe a tiny bit of suading might that. help that possibly yeah. but i mean for what he has on him all this stuff it's it's it's, it's gonna be he's gonna drop it like right there but especially it doesn't seem like a lot of times sometimes fantasy part dolls don't always have the best engineering <laughs> Um, he has pretty player. good engineering, but well, yeah. Well, Longsleeve, I, I think, yeah. known for pretty good engineering yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. His hands are beautiful. Look at those. They're very sharp. Very sharp. So, they have really long claws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm kind of used to this now. I have a few dolls like this. But he has gorgeous hands. I love his hands. They're veiny. I love veiny hands because that's a guy, usually. Beautiful face. He has a licky tongue, so does his little friend. You can also get, them. um, they have two other Tawus. They have a human one that doesn't have the licky face and doesn't have the pointed ears or horns, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they have a chaos version that has, like, weird feathery ears and I no want that horns. Version. But I, he has, like, a smirky this, face. Yeah, he has this cute little smirk I have to have. <laughs> <laughs> so. I kind of wish they had a different head for this one so you could have him with licky and non licky. I know, different. That was the only thing I think cool. I had complaint wise with their faces, but the actual face and scuff really nice yeah so he has like a really nice sculpt and you can actually see it really well right now because there's no like makeup on him right now or no 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 um paint or anything like that mm -hmm. his horns actually pop into his head like that they're, they're attached they're attached so they can't be removed his ears are nice and long i love these ears, these ears are so cute. <laughs> he has a really nice nose mm -hmm. like you can see from his profile He's a really nice profile. I love his little fangs. I can't wait to paint his fangs. They're so cute. And then does his head move with pretty good motion? Uh huh. He can go down, he can go to the side. He can look up. He can look up. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> This is how he sits when he's trying to move things like a giant. See? He can't even sit on the ground. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Oh and this would be gosh. very bad if you had blushing on it, which we will eventually yeah. do, so I have to be even so. more careful. Uh, he has, like, <laughs> see his feet are off the ground. So that doesn't work so well. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing with the white one, just in white. The white color is a little different, as you can see. It's blindingly white. At least in our film. It's actually not that bad in person. Well, he's, like, ivory white. Yeah. But according to, like, next to him, he's blindingly white. <laughs> see? I like the white color though, I'm pretty good with that. The okay. reason why I got the white color is because I want to be able to change a lot of this color mm -hmm. so I can put a lot of color down on him. This one's going to be a, a challenge mm -hmm. <laughs> As we learned for, some of our other gray for ones. Shiro. Yeah, I've done a, a few different gray um, ones. Gray ones. This be my first yeah. gray doll. Yeah, my first gray that's, that's doll. her first gray doll. So I let her have the gray doll. <laughs> I was like, sure, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, have fun. I, I want the white one. <laughs> so as you saw at the beginning of the video, they were standing just fine. If you want to see real quick, though, how long it takes to make them stand. It it's doesn't actually long. taste that long. You gotta do that first. I just put mine up in areas. Woo. There. See? That fast. So they, so they stand beautifully. So, just for fun for comparisons, and also so Carl can show off her recent uh, acquisition. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a Soon Crom in front. He's second hand. Got him from one of our doll meat friends. Uh, you guys might know her as Created by Monsters on the internet. We thought they were kind of interesting to compare because, I mean, look at the feet. The feet are kind of similar. And they're almost the same size, but I'm pretty sure that Crom seat's a tiny bit smaller. Also, the crafting of the fur is a bit different. Mm -hmm. He also was a bit of a bitch to stand just a little bit. I don't know yeah. if he needs to be maybe adjusted his stringing or something. Though we just kind of strung his feet um, when we just got him, so mm -hmm. they seem like they're working pretty fine, but... 
can see height wise, um, he's made a little bit more in front. I think he's a tiny bit taller than our fellow back here. Mm -hmm. That's because I think he has such longer leg pieces. Like she gave him to us with um, human feet and he was a bit shorter. <laughs> he has the um, actual movable. So if, you, if you were sitting him, you could actually like lift his little like, like paws I'll have up. to undo it, but I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> You're like, oh. Uh, see, he can actually, ow. Did he punch you? Yes, he did. He like doesn't have you. double joints though here. See, mm -hmm. he doesn't have the double joint, but he can do this. Unlike these guys. Mm -hmm. So like he can move bend his wolf feet. His wolf feet better. I think. his heel, I think. Yeah, so like he can actually like if you pull the joint. Yeah, you can you can move the joint more so that he can actually just like move the joint. Yeah. Which is cool. Mm-hmm. Cause that's actually how you would have like digi great feet. Mm. Anyway, so here are his feet. If you notice, they have a hole right here. That's for the S hook to go in, and it's a bitch to get in there. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of annoying. Also, the weird thing I found very strange is there's no like little metal piece for it to hook onto. Instead, there's actually you can't see in the video very well, but there's a ledge that the edge of the S hook yes. hangs onto. You just gotta hope and pray it stays on there. I, I mean, I, I'm guessing it's too small for the other part to go through. It's just kind of, I don't know. Yeah. I was surprised that they even worked. I was like, how do they hook on? See the other ones right there. <laughs> At first we thought his hooks might have been too small that came with him, but they kind of worked out. fine. They worked out. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Either way, Kuro was very excited to add him to her collection. Yes, I've been wanting him for a very long time. So, yeah. But anyway. I think that wraps up our body review. Yes, it was mostly about them. I just wanted to show them. For comparison, the comparison six. of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because these feet are awesome and those feet are awesome. He's got bigger claws though. Ow. <laughs> Ow. These <laughs> claws are crazy sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hope it was informative and fun. E educational and fun. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. If you ever see any dolls on our channel that we haven't done body reviews for and you'd like one, I mean, feel free to ask in the comments or drop us a line we anywhere. We do a lot of fantasy dolls because of me. Sorry. <laughs> Curl loves fantasy dolls. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. And remember, Dolly Dollings love your dolls. And have a nice day. Bye. Bye.